Welcome to the Recreating You game. This is a live course that we delivered between 2018 and 2020. We've now gone on to do a new program that we love called the Smart Soul Experience. But I wanted to put this out there onto YouTube because we had thousands of people that had extraordinary results and I think it's just an amazing program. So I wanted to give it to you guys for free. So here's the deal. Please bring a friend. This is way more fun to do with someone else. Do the days in order. It's supposed to be done day one through day 12. There's a reason for that. It builds on itself. Have a great time and you're going to have amazing ahas about your inner experience. This will cure, yes, cure stress, anxiety, worry, fear, and overwhelm in your life, as well as giving you direction on the next right thing for you to do in every moment. Have a great time. Enjoy the program. All right, welcome back to day seven. We're over, oh, <laughs> we're over halfway done. Flow, feeling light, open, and wise. I hope it was really, really cool. You got tons done or nothing at all and it felt great. This is, this is a totally new way to live your life and you'll be surprised at how much you get done by not planning and organizing and stressing and pushing and fretting and all of that. It's amazing, it's just amazing. Today we have a very, very cool play of the day. Okay, which is, it's all about procrastination. Now we're gonna get down to some of the nitty gritty things. Think about procrastination. I want you to just call up, conjure up a couple of things you're procrastinating on right now. Thinking of the two or three things you got that you're procrastinating on, right? Yes, from some people, big procrastinators out there, this is a big issue today. So here's the thing, is it opening you? Are you feeling an expanded feeling that your procrastination is there? So most people think, that when they procrastinate, it's because they're lazy, they're unmotivated, there's a character flaw, there's something going on in their life that has, that they're bad, they're wrong, they're not getting enough done. And that's not what it is, you're closed. And what does closing mean? Closing means that what you're thinking is not true or not gonna happen, right? So the things that you have that you think you need to do don't need to be done. Wait a minute, you're like, wait a minute, some of these things on my list center are pretty powerful and I must do them that I'm procrastinating on. Well, let's talk about what procrastination is. Procrastination, it means, one, it doesn't need to be done at all. It doesn't need to be done at all. It could be something that you're thinking you need to do, just like the should have to, need to, and must list that doesn't need to be done. So we're gonna have you work with this, but just, forget, just bear with me for a little bit longer here, okay? Number two, it doesn't need to be done or it's not supposed to be done by you. It's not supposed to be done by you. Number three is the timing is wrong. It's not the time to do the thing. There is such thing as a divine timing where everything is lined up for you to do it and it's super smooth and super easy. And if you try to push through your procrastination to get it done, have you ever done that? Have you ever pushed through procrastination? Your computer starts breaking down, your phone doesn't working, the people that you need to talk to you aren't there. Stuff goes wrong, the timing isn't right. There is such a thing as divine timing. And if we are not in divine timing, well, it'll feel like procrastination because we're not opening to do that thing. And then last but not least, the fourth thing in procrastination is the way that your mind is thinking about doing it is too complex. It happens all the time with my business clients. They'll be like, oh, I need to get a, a business plan together and I've got to do it this way and that way and I have to have my whole website done and blah, blah, blah. And there's all this stuff and it's, not, not, and it's closing them because their IGS is like, no, we want you to put your toe in the water, do a marketing plan first start marketing and the marketing with your customers coming in is going to influence your product and that's going to change things and if you wrote a whole business plan that business plan would be obsolete as soon as your clients come in because they're going to inform you about what you need to build and there's all kinds of ways that we make things over complicated so what you do is what i want you to do is i only want you to go through like five to seven things that are procrastination issues in your life list them and then go through and check is this need to be done? Does this need to be done at all? Does it need to be done at all? Does it need to be done by you? Is the timing right? You know, if you open, it needs to be done. Does it need to be done by you? If it needs, you'll open, then it needs to be done by you. Is it, is it a timing issue? If you open that it's a timing issue, the timing will come along, right? If it closes you, that it's is this a timing issue? Closing. Okay, am I thinking about this in a way that's too complex? Open. Okay, what am I doing? If it's too complex, you can make a list of everything that you think needs to be done and go through and see what you can cross off that list. All right, so this is play of the day seven. Let's get rid of procrastination. In fact, better than getting rid of procrastination, what I want you to do is have a tool in your tool belt that you can sit and be comfortable when you're not being motivated to do something. 
and in that you feel safe. There was once a, a situation I was in where I landed a client and a big client and we had a, a tight deadline and I woke up in the morning and when I went to work on the project I was closed. I wasn't open to starting the project and I'd already been paid could a good amount of money to get this project done in a hurry. And so I waited and I followed my flow. And then the next day I checked in and I was closed and the next day, and now I'm starting to get stressed out and thinking, Oh God, I need to start this project closed. I don't need to start this project open. And my mind was freaking out. I've been paid. We have a quick timeline on this. I'm going to screw up. I, mean, I can't now I can't even get it done in the timeline now that I've been waiting, but I learned not two second guess my IGS it takes time I'm not requesting this of you it takes training and time but it does happen and then the person called me out of the blue and said how far have you gotten along on this project and I said actually I haven't done anything and they're like really and I'm like yeah I, this sounds really crazy but I, I check in and I do this based on energy and flow and they're like well thank God we're gonna scrap the whole project we're going in a completely different direction we have new information we'll get back to you I hadn't spent a dime of their budget and everything was fine. I had gotten a bunch of other stuff done. They called me within a week or so. We got a whole thing going and a new project and they were happy. I mean, think about how bummed they would have been if I had used a bunch of that budget. And instead they felt great. I felt great. I got the project done. This is about magic and synchronicity, magic and synchronicity. So being comfortable, I want you to be comfortable when you're procrastinating. You realizing that it's that, that uncomfortable feeling when you're thinking you have to get something done is guidance that it's, that there's something up that you need to go further. You need to check it in. Think about how wise you're going to be. Keep using your IGS to be able to tap in on all this. All right. So that's your play of the day. Make a list of five to seven things that you're procrastinating on. Check it against the four things. Okay. That's it. I don't want you to go further. You know, if you want to do a little extra, you can, but I want to keep this simple and straightforward. If you have questions, let me know. In the meantime, I'm sending you love and blessings, and I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for doing the Recreating You game. I hope you're having extraordinary ahas already. People have from day one. And so no matter where you are in the game, there's amazing things that you're learning about yourself and the power that lies within you. If you would like to have your questions answered, please put them in the comments below. We do our best to get back to comments or so does our, our members <laughs> and our students. They love to go ahead and, and support people in learning to use their IGS. You are welcome to email us at support at smartsoul.com to get more deep into the programs, or you can go to smartsoulacademy.com if you already know you want to jump in and learn how to master this extraordinary thing that you were born with, your internal guidance system. There you'll find 16 programs that lead you through all areas of your life and weekly group coaching with me so that we can work on your specific issues and supporting you and getting aligned with your purpose, your prosperity, and peace. That's smartsoulacademy.com, and it's all available to you for $25 a month. I know, amazing. You can afford this less than Starbucks each week. Come check it out. SmartSoulAcademy.com.